A $4 million home and a $60 million lawsuit. What we're learning tonight about the case of an Indian Hill Inferno. We all remember the extraordinary pictures of that fire. Now there's a high intensity lawsuit as well. Not on your side, Scott Wigginer talked with an insurance legal expert about why the suit may have been filed now. It was a spectacular blaze that destroyed the $4 million home of Jeff and Maria Decker in Indian Hill. But while the fire was put out one year ago this month, the legal flames surrounding it are burning bright. The homeowners have filed this lawsuit complaining that their insurance company, Chubb National, still has not paid for any of the damages. This could be a way of the policyholder just saying, we've had enough, we've waited long enough, it's time to move. But it may not be that simple. There are as many as three separate ongoing investigations surrounding the fire. It was a very complicated site, very complicated situation. So it may well be that it's going to take them a while to simply complete their investigation. So why the lawsuit now? We asked Carl Stitch, an insurance attorney unrelated to the case, to give us some insights. He first noticed this clause which says any legal action against the insurance company has to take place within a year of the loss. The Deckers made that deadline just three days before the anniversary of the fire. It appears to me that it was done so that the policyholders would be in compliance with that provision of the policy. In any case, he says, this lawsuit asking for $60 million is going to cost plenty. With a loss of this, this nature and the complexity of the investigation, it's going to be a very expensive matter to litigate for both sides. Scott Wegener, 9 on your side, Cincinnati. The entire lawsuit is nearly 120 pages long. In addition to the loss of the house, it demands compensation for the contents along with punitive damages. Chubb Insurance did not return our calls today. The Deckers want a jury trial.